good evening friends how are you i hope you're all doing well so today i am going to show you how you can install or create a drupal instance in aws so uh, at first i have to go to the light cell this is the home page of light cell where uh, you can come from the ec2 uh, console or from aws console so once you are in the light cell you need to create a, a new instance here so at first you will be able to choose the region so the region should be singapore zone a but if you wanted to choose a different one click here and choose the region that matches with your local location if you are from india you can choose mumbai if you are from like europe you can have a lot of options but like ireland you have london frankfurt paris stockholm if you are in australia you have only sydney so i choose singapore it's nearest to me then i'm going to choose from this list Drupal. all other things you can keep as it is uh, from the instance tab i'm going to choose the 10 dollar one it has two gigabytes of ram and uh, one virtual cpu which should be sufficient to run a small uh, drupal site so now let's create an instance It will take around two minutes to three minutes uh, time. Meanwhile, it's being loaded. So let's uh, go to networking. And let's create a new static IP. Create a static IP here. Then uh, the static IP is important for uh, accessing your uh, site or linking your domain to the instance. So by default, AWS gives you some random IP, which is not fixed. That means if you stop your instance and start again, the IP will be lost. So uh, static IP will help you to fix that IP for that instance, and you can now link your domain or subdomain with it. So let me copy this IP address, and I'm going to link that with my domain. So uh okay uh, it will take some time so let me pause the video for a moment okay i'm back uh i have copied the ip and i have uh, now i'm going to link my subdomain with this instance so i am into cloudflare and here uh, i will add a new record like a record here which is drupal and then ip address so I am stop proxy save and then let's go to the details of the instance. Did I attach the IP? Networking. Okay, I have to attach the IP. I go to networking. You see, it's not being attached yet, so I have to attach this to the instance click attach so now it's attached and if i go to the drupal here i will see the ip address which i created as a static one okay so once this is done uh, you should be able to view the site using this ip address copy and paste if it's not ready probably will yeah it's not ready so you will get refused you can also view it from the subdomain as well. So my subdomain is drupal.articu.xyz. So let's go here. Drupal.articu.xyz. Yeah, 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 my site is up and running. So uh, let me connect to the backend. There is an option in the light cells to connect to that backend, uh, connect to the SSH directly from the terminal browser. Once I log in here, I will uh, type a command to uh, get the password of the default user. That means when a new instance is created using this light cell, uh, the Bitnami, which, who is the provider, automatically creates a user so that you can log in. So to get the user or all those commands, you can just copy this IP address, copy this link, copy and open in a new tab. 
this is just documentation which will give you how to get the uh, IP addresses. Okay. Uh, probably have to just Google Drupal uh, light sale address. Uh, yeah, here it is. So I will link this comment. This is more helpful. So here it says if you run this comment, it will give you the default password that has been created. So I copy this and paste it here. So here it is, here is the password. This will be different for you because this is randomly generated once you create a new instance. So copy this, copy this password. Okay. Now uh, go to user slash login. The default user is user. Password is, I will give you the password. So, uh, I don't want to save it. This is it. You have done the setup. One thing that is a bit itchy is that this not secure sign, right? You want to have a lock icon which shows secure. So, let's do that. Here, if you go down slightly below, you will have an option for HTTPS, step six, configure HTTPS for your Drupal site. So there is a tool here, which is called the insert tools. Using this tool, you can initiate SSL certificate. So copy this and run it to the terminal. So, I don't want to update right now. So let's give a domain. So the domain name is drupal.atiku.xyz. <clears throat> I don't want www because it's already a subdomain. Okay. Yes, HTTP should be redirected to HTTPS. That's correct. Yep, I agree. So I give my email address at the code .xyz. Yes, I agree. There is no way that I cannot disagree with this subscription agreement. Without this, let's then create, it will be hard for me to assign SSL certificate. You can alternatively you buy some SSL certificate from other providers, but that will cost you money. It's free. So I have to agree this agreement anyhow. Okay. Success, right? There it says success. Now, if I go here and try to refresh this page, Yes, I should be able to use a okay, here and have to go down slightly go up. Here is the password. You should keep it in a, a notepad because you see I just forgot it. I don't want to save it. Uh, anyway, here I have, uh, I can go to content and now create new content. It should be an article. Why I love uh, AWS. So oh, it's double. This is the most popular cloud provider. Okay, let's just publish it. 
Okay, so that's it. If I go to like a different browser, let's go to Edge and uh, browse the site. <clears throat> Not now, I don't want it to be a different browser. Drupal dot Atiku dot XYZ. So here, here is the here is the site. Here is the content. If I go to the details, this is the details. I can comment as a user. So we, within 10 or 15 minutes, you have already up and running your Drupal site in AWS without knowing much details about how this works. So uh, LightSail is a great way to uh, set up uh, this uh, like uh, CMS or maybe e-commerce uh, package systems so it's pre-installed you just need to copy those commands and run it and it's there i hope this helps you to get started with aws and drupal if you like this video please subscribe to my channel that will help me to create more videos in coming days thank you have a nice day bye bye